All right, welcome on into something a little bit strange, a little bit different. This is Lego Horizon Adventures. This is a, a brand new Lego game. We haven't had one in a little while since the Skywalker Saga. And it is, as you can see, with the Horizon Zero Dawn world. Um, this is a special collaboration with Gorilla, the original makers, and um, the Lego team. And it's also coming to the Switch as well. So it's the first Sony published Sony made game that's on the Switch. And I think, as far as the rumors are going, there's been plenty more where that came from. I think Sony sees the money that Xbox is making and everybody else and they're like, Hey, let's put our games everywhere. Screw exclusivity. And let's just count the profits. That's always the way. Now, as far as I've been told, this is sort of a comedy retelling of the first game. You can see it also has that uh, Lego charm and Lego writing to it. But also, uh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Could be fun. Could be cool. There's co-op there as well. Always a disco. Yeah, we'll see how this goes. The only issue I have with this one where I can't really recommend it is most Switch games are as low as 50 bucks. Like Dragon Quest 3, 50. Mario Luigi, 50. This one, they've decided to put the Sony tax on it. It is 70 euro. Like, I don't know if somebody's drinking their own Kool-Aid or what, but uh, you need to wake the hell up. Because if you nickel and dime people, like with the PS5 Pro as well, they're just going to go somewhere else. This is not the day where you can get away with the PS3 and tell people to get another job. This is the day and age where they're like, I can do without, you know? I can. I don't need these things. You got to be careful. That's, uh, it's a whole different world we're living in. I think all the subscription services are finding out that the hard way. Whoopsie! Raising the price in increments over many years and maybe making people spend nearly 20 a month on just the same crappy movies was a bad thing and they've left en masse. And then it seems like the password stuff didn't help either. I'm telling you, give it another 3 years, 5 years, you're going to have one unified system where you pay 60 70 80 dollars a month and you're going to get all 13 of them. And it's going to be hilarious because we'll be back in the cable era, but now it's a digital cable. And we don't realize that they just pulled the wool over our eyes. Like, whoopsie, all those cable cutters are now just paying for digital cable. Good lord. But yeah, these are usually games that are great with uh, co op as well, you know? Obviously aimed more at the kids, but that uh, doesn't matter. Hood scale, larger, regular. Okay, let's see what we got going on. Cinematics. Okay, subtitles. Nice. Font size. El Fonto. I love uh, Lego games. They're such a good, like, easy breezy, just nice way of uh, changing things around. We'll see. I worry about the writing of this because we don't live in the same world as we used to back then. And uh, Horizon's writing, as is, is a bit rough. Fucking cardboard cutout NPCs. Uh, player in vulnerability. Oh, wow. You can just turn on uh, God mode and that. That's cute. That's good. I want to turn off some things. I think uh, the brightness is fine enough as is. Let's turn down sound effects just a little bit. Mm. Controller vibration. Might I don't like that, and I don't like uh, whatever the crap is called. What's it called? Whatever the triggers are called. I never know. How is? Did it not save that? Anyone else just see me do that? Weird. The adaptive triggers, I hate that crap. Hate it, it feels like a motor pushing against you. That's what it's supposed to feel like, it's not a pleasant feeling at all. Alright, here we go. Scout, adventure, machine hunter, hero. I do love the Horizon series, but I will admit that uh, even just by the end of the second game, I've already felt like they've jumped the shark with the story, it's completely unbelievable dribble. And then... Now we already have a series, because believe it or not, next year we're having Horizon Online, a whole multiplayer no game. That could be cool, no though. No Narrator. Media, just beautiful and totally not boring it's just nature. nice to have a new Lego game. Oh, and giant robot dinosaurs, of course. I'm, I'm hearing a rumor there may be a Lego uh, Simpsons game coming. Or what happened to the ancient world of cars, skyscrapers, and funny They have uh, Lego Horizon stuff already. You can get the Tall Neck. I think the Thunder Jaw as well. I actually brought my bought my brother the Tall Neck, which was so cool. It's just like that one there. A really cool giraffe, Brontosaurus. There's some great dinosaur machines in this. Years ago, Tirsa, the leader of her tribe, found a baby girl. All alone. Oh, that's our Aloy. Where she came from. Bonk. 
And since orphans in stories always it's the immaculate trouble, birth, that made the villagers a little nervous. So the idea is it's sort of prehistoric so future. Child was raised the world has come and gone, and we ensured our own self-destruction. And Aloy. then, a thousand years past, you've got this kind of a technology meets caveman. Oh my God, he's struggling the baby. <laughs> uh, caveman uh, technology. It's cool. Hitting Tribal stuff. Ow. And watching Aloy grow over the years, helping to hone her. It's always hot dogs, isn't it? Filled him with great joy and satisfaction. There she is. Oh, that's cool. That's the little deers like she does in the game. They they remastered the first game as well, and then this came out too. It's a funny world. In the mountains. Questions only Tirsa, the old lady. She's a good character. I do like Aloy. But you're not here to listen to me go on and on. This is a game, not an audiobook. So let's join a Are you sure about that? Barks on an epic adventure on the day she travels to the village of Mother's Heart for the Hey, I don't know if we got Ashley Birch to do her voice as well in Lego. There it is. It looks absolutely fantastic. And so did um, Lego Skywalker saga. Nutritious healing berries. They've really embraced you know, uh, ray tracing and global illumination, and it looks unbelievable on Lego. Way better than it should, you know? And here we all are, if you if you do use a little bit of Lego, standing around like maybe your little desk with a crappy desk, like trying to put a bit of Lego together. You push a little bit too hard, one piece goes feckin' flying, never to be seen again underneath some unit or TV stand <laughs> until a dog finds it or a Hoover. Um, but yeah, it's not funny. I mean, nowadays, people are like this huge amount of people doing Lego on stream, which is really cool and relaxing. I actually prefer that almost to the ASMR stuff because ASMR is like, I, I, I don't know how I feel. It's like, bad time to be watching it with the awkward boners. Alright, so we got this, like, hold down button. I, I wouldn't expect too much in terms of difficulty from this, you know. It's meant to be appealing to uh kids and adults alike and sit down here and have a nice little time i wonder what the is there a photo mod or anything options of my friend co-op play it's probably only um local co-op i'd say i don't know for sure it's hard to know these days switch has kind of got me into the weird habit of everything just being local co-op let's see if we get some building going now that sounds like ashley birch all right so yeah, these games are really fun to play. It is bow and arrows, third person fighting. You get all these cool things like trip wires and traps that you can do. And yeah, it's really cool. And they improved on that a good bit in the second game. The issues I have with the second game is uh, just just outlandish uh, stories. And then I think they're almost kicking themselves now because by doing a weird side story for the second game, it's allowed too much time to pass. And one of the sort of anti-hero villains known as Silence was played by... Um, the late uh, Lance Reddick, unfortunately, he's passed, and so now we'll never get to finish his story, so they wasted too much time. And this is a Sony problem across the board. They're so obsessed with allowing their series to have 20 years of life, you know? It's the Marvel way. Sony got into bed with Marvel, and that's all we have now, so you never have these complete stories anymore. It's a disaster. Spider-Man is like going nowhere. God of War is going nowhere. It's like, Jesus Christ, do you remember when you just make a game to make a game? It didn't have to be a, a, a cinematic universe. So yeah, there's already about 10 projects of Horizon. I don't know if it has the legs. Like, it's not about female or male protagonists. People want to moan about that. Like, oh, she's got a bit of peach fuzz. Wait, wait, wait. Amount of you can work big, fat, of sweaty dudes, play. bald and heads, what do you, say to a you know, uh, talking about the looks out, of women Aloy. is is so so funny to watch in real time. First time seeing the village like, of mother's heart. Let's fix First your own state of life before you start to question the, the looks of some other people. Narrated. Shocking! You can't really spend too much time online because uh, they're everywhere. It's creepy, man. They're new, new, new gremlins. They're keyboard incels, man. They're like the gremlins of yesteryear. Looks like she has a sort of a kind of a double jump. It's so beautiful, isn't it? Jesus Christ, they know what they're doing. So yeah, this one, they kind of like, they're gonna, they put it on the Switch. It's a little, even more expensive on the Switch, which is so weird. But uh, I don't know if it'll come to Xbox. There's a rumor like they're doing anything they can just to keep things off Xbox. And Xbox are like, take all our games. So 
So it is, it's a weird world we're living in. Alright, they even brought back the yellow rope and yellow cliff stuff, even for the Lego game. This It's getting to be a bit ridiculous now. Hell yes. I thought this would be a fun little play, because I like Lego games. To me, Lego games are like uh, Call of Duties and Battlefields, where I love to just buy one a year and have some fun with it. It's like part of your childhood. Look, at the, look how cool they've done the water down there. So it's really fun. And then I don't have to be, you know, obsessed or only play those, you know, that kind of way. Like, I, I just started with the Lego uh, Indiana Jones, which I loved. They're really good over the years. I would argue it was the closest thing to good licensed games we got. Because all that kind of fizzled out, you know. Look at this. It has like a little yolk in the egg when you throw it. Bonk. That's cute. Even like, you know, Harry Potter and Pirates Caribbean. It was really fun in Lego form. Because we weren't getting the licensed games no more. And I like a good licensed games. They were absolutely kind of crappy and a bit cringe. There was something about it. It just felt like you were... In that moment, especially if you really enjoyed the series. Nowadays, I think the kids don't really have that as much. Get the toys, but you almost get that kind of uh, obsession and fun recognition of uh, liking something in a social sense with YouTube and Twitch, right? It's like, hey, you like this game? I like this game. It's kind of the way it was. Where you'd like go into school the next day and talk about your favorite comic or your movie or a game you were playing. I don't really feel that as much now. It's like, what's Aiden Ross up to? What's Kai up to? Shit, I'd rather them all watch Kai than Aiden Ross. He's a better influence on them. Good lord. I didn't know that, but I think Aiden, they've kind of cut their complete ties with him from Kick. That's, a, that's definitely one. Oh my god, this is almost on autoplay. I didn't, I didn't even touch that zipline. Nice. Yeah, they want to get TV shows off. Uh, they have an online Horizon game coming. I generally think that could be cool, though. Although their Concord game was very rough. But I think Horizon could work. It's pretty fun. But imagine like taking down a Thunderjaw together. A big machine T-Rex. The series kind of gave me Beast Wars vibes as well. And Dinobots. So, yeah. It was a no-brainer for me to be playing these games. This is actually... The original game was the first game I had on PS4, because I was late to PS4. I, uh, I was still kind of Xbox mad at the time. How about some warm -up shots? So that was fun. You so it still has a sort of nice place in my heart. And then you pull the string. <laughs> well, Very funny. Gets funnier every time you say it. <laughs> I, I oh dear, I worry about modern <laughs> quips and modern writing. Ashley Birch, she's not, not everyone's favorite these days, I'll be honest with you. She uh, played Chloe in Life is Strange, then went on to do Aloy and, and many, many other things. And she was in, was she in Mystic Quest or one of those? I think, I will say, like, she gives me vibes of uh, Troy Baker, and he's a very successful career. But it became this point where they became known for their normal voice. So they weren't voice actor, it was just Troy Baker doing Troy Baker. Now it's just Ashley Birch doing Ashley Birch, you know? That's not really what I want out of a voice actor. But they each their own, I guess. Like, it's not just about accents either. Like, if you're a genuine bona fide voice actor, that's your profession. You should be able to do voices that are so widely out of the norm of your normal voice. Isn't that the point, right? No? Anybody? You don't gotta be like doing crazy voices. But I, I don't know. That's a strange one. It's the whole celebrity ness of uh, voice acting that's become a thing. She do, oh yeah, she does Tiny Tina as well, which also is just kind of, kind of the same thing as well. You hear it now, yeah? Like it's it's all the same. Sorry, Ashley, I'm not trying to be mean. I'm no great voice actor, but it's just like, I don't want you to become Troy Baker. I, I got pissed off with Troy Baker. He was just everywhere. He was like a fly on poop, and it was just the same accent. He's like, oh, you got a little so southern accent. But tell me the difference between Booker DeWitt's voice and Joel from The Last of Us, or tell me the difference between Sam from Uncharted and Joel from The Last of Us. Little twang, little twang here and there. It's the same dude, or whatever his name was in uh, Death Stranding. You never know his name. He's a good villain, but they don't they don't don't throw out their names too often. Then when it is, it's like Die Hard Man, Up Down Girl. It's like the weirdest names for someone. Let's we'll see what these like in the uh, in the second game. Nice. These things here, these arrows are real well done because that's the kind of hologram 
from the game, which is clever. So it is, it's definitely done with love for sure. She has this cool like ear Bluetooth speaker, but it, it creates holograms. A strange device Rust. I found next to you when Anyone knows this game? It's called a. I wonder how they're gonna handle the upcoming <gasps> stuff. The focus, yes. I won't ask why you've kept it from me all this time because I'm just too excited. Look at her little. Look at her little. Uh, um. Miss Pia. Does it go like? Yeah. What? It looks like it goes here. <gasps> oh, well, aren't you lucky? A Lego stud. They don't make triangle ones, do they? Well, come on. She I've eats years to find out what it does. Whoa. Whoa. I can see stuff shining on those targets. Like it's telling me where to shoot. This must be so rare. Little like freckles. One of a kind. Actually, Tirsa found a whole bag. Ah. Always good to have some spares, right? For friends and family. It's true, it's true. They actually are super rare, but they're right. That's a, it has to be a joke from the second game. Because by the second game, she's got her little army going. And they all have focuses. They're basically 1,000 year old Bluetooth headset speaker things on, on your ear, yeah. And it, but it brings up holograms. It's really cool. It, it's just a fancy way of doing like, you know, your survival vision. Oh, so cool. This could be a way for Lego to offset maybe games taking longer or something because they have been a bit in a bit of trouble. As much as we love them, their games were slowly selling less and less. Maybe the quality wasn't there. Maybe I think what happened was I'll be dead honest with you. They they decided to branch out and do the toys to life with Lego Dimensions. Yeah, I remember. You probably don't remember that. It's not even that long ago. But yeah, Lego Dimensions, they were late to the party. They tried getting in on the licenses and stuff, and then... Um, Ooh, time for a quick dip. It was... Um, it wasn't a great venture. Mm -hmm. They tried, though. They had so much license stuff, but what made me sad was, it was like, oh, everything they used in Lego Dimensions might never get a real game. So it's like Ghostbusters and Simpsons mm -hmm. and even Doctor Who and that. And just never did anything. Uh, cool, yeah. She really is like her own Aloy, because that was a thing... Uh, in the games where they had so much quipping and, and uh, voice acting, this quipping thing as they call it, it's from Spider-Man, right? It's the, what they used to call it in the comics, when they would have a little one-liners or a little, what we, what we called it as kids was talking back, and you get a smack around the lip if you did it. That's basically what they do, but Spider-Man was known for it, you know, he'd always have little uh, things he would call his villains, you know, like Green Goblin was called Gobby and all that. But anyway, so that was where that comes from. But whatever reason, Marvel just locked on, like modern Marvel locked on to that. And it's so annoying to the point of like the stupid swarm of jokes. There's a bit in like an already bloated and long movie where they go out and start eating a whole load of Greek pasta, Greek whatever swarm. And it's like, what are we doing here? Like, I get it. It's like call back to this joke or whatever. But it was so stupid. It was one of those inside jokes from the team or Robert Downey Jr. You'd have dumb kids talking about Swarm or they don't know what the hell. Anyway, so that kind of stuff. So that, that became something. And then they just, they never let go of that. Um, it, up until now. And you can see that it's actually become cringe and it's kind of ruined a lot of them. But Sony also decided, oh, we want to be the next MCU because we've teamed up with uh, Spider-Man. So they do it for all their games. So it was so bad in Horizon that there was an update, believe it or not. To make her talk less in the game. Have you ever heard that? It's so stupid in your life. And that's what I'm talking about. The celebrity of voice acting. Becoming a real natter and on. It's really bad. Modern Sony games. They never shut up. Like, you think I talk a lot as an Irishman? They never shut the fuck up. They're telling you how to do the puzzle beforehand. I walked into the water for a bit. And she's like, let's go for a dip. Oh, let's get out of the water. Oh, my own personal swimming pool. Oh, my own personal swimming pool. Like, shut the fuck up and let me play the game. It's just a sign of like... No dead, no uh, dead air, no fucking, um, I don't know. No stupidity, I don't know. Who knows? Are we gonna do some building? Anyway, it is what it is. It's just modern writers. Modern jackasses. Boom! Burn, baby, burn! I'm on fire. I am on fire. I like the little uh, animated thing they've done for the fire. This is lovely. I hope it gets kids into. Other stuff. Maybe they won't. That's the problem, huh? Maybe they won't. Maybe they're not finding as many kids playing these games. I still think Sony's best is uh, the Ghost of Tsushima. It gets it, and it's so like perfect. You know, it's it's, it's connected to all the old. Um... Okay. I think I did it too quick, did I? Yeah, I think I did it too quick. 
You've been toasting you know, it's so inspired by the old uh, Kurosawa stuff that Excuse me, Ross, the it's dummy. quiet and impactful and tense and Sorry, subtle and everything. Oh, it's just, it's just brilliantly done. Just like his Fred filmmaking, which is back. entirely not like Sony at all. Wild were rather less which, which is now the subtlety is a giant hammer in your face, which is wrong with a lot of writing. Everything has to be spelled out because they believe the audience be dumbasses and the audience then eat this stuff up and are force fed it so they are dumbasses, you know, it's just the way it goes, it sucks but you're only as good as uh, as the people kind of watching your stuff, it's not people's fault but it's the concept of treating people like kids nowadays with all these uh, yellow tape and all this kind of stuff and white bird poo on everything to show you the way or arrows pointing the way you know versus when we were kids be a pokemon final fantasy whatever you just have to learn you know just do it but here's the big difference i say it wasn't even about were things harder back then it kind of were but also weren't the difference is we had anywhere from a 30 to 60 page manual full of art full of character bios full of bestiaries full of tips and easter eggs and story behind the scenes like oh my god we have lost so much love and care all for just quick uh, remasters and remakes and it's not just nostalgia blinders i don't care if people like to think that's a lot of it is that that's not what's going on here no no it's just love and care versus greed and profit Broadhead, one of a bull characters. So th this uh, grass run, I think they're going to use that. So stealthy sections. Remember, These games are as much about hunting the machines as, uh, as, long as taking them down. You know. Grass, it won't see you. Oh, yeah. yeah, I know, but it's so itchy. Mm -hmm. had heard stories of the days when the metal oh, this is that's cute. Possible. That's so because they couldn't show stealth in a top-down way. The they just put a little head of grass on her. That's very cute. Oh, uh, this is cute. I just, I'm not sure people will have quite the same nostalgia uh, for Horizon. So, a lot of people did latch on, you know. A lot of the ladies did too, which is good. I'm always very glad to uh, see the, you know, more good female um, representation and more like, um, you know, uh, good, just good, Im general good influences, you know. I'd rather that than like shoehorned nonsense. So we had a lot of good stuff growing up. Boom! Nice. Oh lordy, here he comes. This is cute. Oh my gosh! That rock did not save my life. Mamma mia! Let's go. Lovely music. The lighting is good. Ah oh, yeah, hell yeah. It's just pure goodness. Now I think we're just gonna have to uh, finish him the old fashioned ways. No more weak points. Yeah, they definitely adopted everything right from the here we go there's another weak point from the game good job oh that was cool because he was hopping around he like jumped and missed the arrow you got the xp cool and she got a level up system there you go now this one didn't get great um reviews i'll be honest with you and because they were kind of just saying either too easy or cash grab or whatever i understand i mean there's always going to be that issue like do you know like before lego the company that made those games traveler's tales which just eventually just became known as tt games they made some of the greatest wonderful wholesome like uh, uh, 3d collectathons and, and 2d uh, platformers that you'll ever played they had this great logo of this cool little raccoon guy and he'd wear like one of those uh, bindles you know the little wraps on his sticks nice there's one more thing you must face before we go on. I think, um, for me, lunch. I can see what we have here. This is so good, charming Lego fun. I said it at the start, and it's not going to change at the end of the game either. The price is out of control. It should have been 50 max. 70 and 75 on Switch. you got to be having a laugh, Sony. A laugh. Did you see what happened to Concord? Stop nickel and diamond. This is, this is a kid's game. When have you ever seen a kid come out and go, yeah, let me just get 75 euro, 75 dollars? No. Not unless it's mommy and daddy's credit card. And by making it 40, 50, you're going to make it that lovely, perfect Christmas present, too. 
I don't know about you, but I used to ask for Christmas present games all the time. It's the only time that I could afford them, you know? Nowadays, someone asking you for a Christmas present as a gift, 75 euro? Get the fuck out of here, you know what I mean? Get the hell out of here. That's the way it's become. That's the way it's become. Especially if they're kind of rare, too. Whatever reason, those Spider-Man games on physical, very hard to come by, so I was trying to get them for my older nephew. And... Then again, I was like, what the hell? Just a bunch of it was people, more expensive on PS4 because more people had PS4 and no PS5s. So Miles Morales no, so ended up being like 75, 80 euro. And I think it's only 50 so normally. Look at all these tribes. I love it. It looks like somebody just made it and then recorded it. So cute. Right inside Mother's heart. What happened? I went out to deal with some machines prowling outside our gates, but it was all part of the cult's plan. Just See, this might deter me from playing through uh, Rising Zero Dawn again. Well, straight away, anyway. By the time I got back, that's all good. Tirsa and the others. We got enough on our place. How many people did they we have? Oh, you know Stalker Two coming up next week. Then leading into December, we have, we have Indiana seen. Jones and but Soul Reaver, baby. And they're also put on the old again. versions of Blood Omen 1 and 2 onto went. PlayStation. We'll Maybe we'll mess around with that. One more thing. Maybe. We'll see. I'll see what My state son, they're in. Varl. Varl. He ran off on a rescue mission before I could Some stop. of the old the PlayStation game. games they're putting up are just emulated versions. Kind of trouble. And they're charging 20 and 30 ago. Nice. So I think the second player can play as Varl. Sounds mysterious. Yes. There's got to be a trophy for sitting on all the benches. So I'm going to do it. Yeah, the Skywalker Saga, like, even if you're not a uh, Star Wars fan, were amazing. Nine games, nine movies, right? And then open world areas between them. It was just, you couldn't expect it better. It was so good. But I think it cost them so much money, so much time, that it just cut into everything else. And then the profits took longer to come back. So you can see now, I think they're going to do this with a lot of, like... There was plans for a Mega Bloks Halo game at one point because uh, they, they couldn't reach an agreement with Lego back in the day with Halo. So they moved over to Mega Bloks because it was like, you know, cheaper. But they didn't do much of it. They just put out a few sets. But I would have loved that game to happen. I think if they had allowed that to flourish and took that chance, Mega Bloks could have had an incredible, almost exclusive deal with Microsoft to basically make Lego versions of all their games. But see, it's a tough one, because I think even Horizon's like 16s or something. So you're like, w what What are you actually trying to do, you know? If you're creating these games with a younger audience, like if you were to Lego, say, for instance, Lego Gears of War game, are you then expecting that 8-year-old to go play Gears of War, chainsawing dudes in half with blood and piss and shit ever? Like, I don't think so, right? Why am I supposed to do this, guy? Okay? Come here! Up. So yeah, I think um, we'll mess around with this. This one's supposed to be pretty short and sweet, like a good uh, 8 or 10 hours. And another problem why it shouldn't be seven billion euro. Anyway, and then uh, yeah, we'll get we'll get going with with Dragon Quest then at one point or another as well. One way to get around. Hell yeah! Just don't want to bite oh, off uh, too much. This okay. metaphor was huge. Small building, reach ten to build. Okay, so cute. Yeah, I'm not I'm not really uh, too caring about uh, ray tracing and all that kind of stuff. It's just what if? Alright, so this is going to be our little town we're going to build up. Cute! Our mother's heart. That's nice. Look at these guys. What are you doing here? Look like you're in modern clothes. Get out of here. Can I go fishing? That's cute. But maybe them creating these games that are a little bit less ambitious or bigger than those big open world games will allow them to get profitable again. Because I'd hate to... See, you know, no more Lego games or TT games shutting down. I'd hate to see that. So here I am trying to support, even if it's, you know, being weird and not put in an Xbox or whatever. Goofy. I'm here supporting new IP, new games as much as I can. I'm just one person, though. It's never enough. It's never enough. This used to be an achievement for breaking all the deer, so I wonder uh, can I do that. Let's, let's have a look at our menu system. We were seen, we did seem to have some kind of. Uh, oh, we don't. We can't do that yet. Okay, it must be still too early. There was a leveling system, though. We'll have to see where that goes. Okay, our cave is going that way. Continue the story. Yeah, all right, let's keep going. They'll, they'll teach us about this. Voral, let's go get him. This is so cute. Yeah, the touchpad's not doing anything right now, so that's probably gonna unlock later. 
Yeah, as far as I know, it's just two player only. I had so many, so many great memories of playing like Lego Batman and even some of the Marvel stuff. Two. What's this now? Is there four people? There's four people I gotta look for. There's so much fun. Look at the watchers. Oh. Yeah, I think I, I was helping uh, my brother uh, make the tall neck as well. It was really, really cool. It's unbelievable what you can do with Lego. All Mother Mountain. A sacred mystery. Yeah, the name after I name everything what after mother. Oh. That is, of course. Yes, it's this one, yes, yes. With the devastator mess. machine sticking out of over us always, holding tight to its secrets. Like why my mom left me there. Hmm. Well, I won't be finding out without Tirsa, so let's save those villagers. <laughs> Apologies. Way to go, dude. I think the old Lego games hold their charm because they kind of stuck as a British company, you know. People. As time has gone on and cha times have changed and writing has changed, I'm sensing a lot of other influence, corporate influence. So the writing has been picked over by a finely toothed comb. Because some of the old Lego games would have tongue-in-cheek jokes, you know, otherwise known as sort of adult jokes, you know. Pulling underpants so out of his bag or something well for no reason. Cakes. Just goofy stuff. <laughs> Kinda. But with I feel like a lot of that's lost just with everything just else in comedy. Like mother's heart getting oh, attacked. be careful. So afraid of getting cancelled. Oh, Jesus. Why take the villagers prisoner? Make sure we have, we'll have a, find out. an entire dictionary just redacted because everything's Boy, been repurposed. And just the kind of thing to someone make a story else is interesting. pissed off at this and angry at that. And <laughs> what the hell? This is a modern care, huh? They've done such a good job. I can't wait to see the tall neck. The tall necks are really cool. They turned them into two meter style platforming puzzles to get up. It's a really cool series. It's basically about like discovering what happened a thousand years ago, and you find these things um, where they kind of they're like basically giant forges where they make uh, all of the machines. The second one just it just got a bit jumpy. The shark. I don't think they knew what they wanted to do with the story. With aliens and stuff. Like, what the hell is going on? Like, no. So goofy. But we'll see where it goes. They clearly have like 15, 10 games planned, but like 15 years worth of content, I'd say. So you better like it, you know that kind of way? Whoopsie. So I worry about uh, putting all your, your eggs in one basket. The guys who make this, uh, Gorilla, they're, they're a Dutch company. But they're they're... Their CEO, Herman Holst, has risen to the ranks of Sony and is now the joint CEO. I, I shit you not. Crazy. So talk about... Uh, so now you, you kind of... It sort of makes everything feel a bit... Uh, what's that word? Like militos. I was hoping we'd get something better out of these chests, man. A couple of studs. A couple of studs. Up to no good. Start to make a trouble in the neighborhood. Yeah, Lego's good. I was I was a Lego kid for a bit, but uh, oh growing up, but it was very expensive. So I moved over to Kinex. Kinex where it was where it was at. That was like midpoint between Lego and like engineering. I loved it. I built massive, massive constructions. You had to use like little mini motors and rubber bands and stuff. I oh my god, I loved it. I used to keep them running for days upon days. It was wild. I'd go up to school and come home and it'd still be running in the living room. I remember the day I came back and it was I had it going for so long, all the rubber bands had snapped. And I'll just tell you, because it was basically like a little timing belt, you know. And mom was like, don't be sad, don't be mad. But the I heard a big snap. And of course, like it's a rubber band and we're talking about Legos. So what do you think happened? You know, it, it literally flew across the room while also breaking half of the construction. I was like, damn, that's kind of cool. I wish I was there, you know. I didn't mind at all. And in fact, like, ask anybody who really likes their Lego and that. When things break, outside of kids, you kind of get frustrated. Uh, rebuilding and fixing it is actually kind of hard to fun too, as well. I know some kids, it does teach them patience, but you can really get to see some of the frustration. In them. Is this as far as this goes? Yeah, I'm not expecting I'm expecting too much exploration. Still really, really cute. So yeah, who knows where they go with this. They could do more Sony stuff. They could go across the bond, do other things as well. Lego and Mario had a huge collaboration for a bit there. So I'm kind of hoping that results in some kind of a game as well, you know. But yeah, most of the Lego sets, you notice now there's not many two new Lego sets. It's only like random nostalgia 
And a lot of Ghostbusters, Friends, as I said, The Simpsons. There's many, many more where that came from. I think they did a big Nightmare Before Christmas thing recently, didn't they? Get, to get the entire town. It also came with the, the hill, the special curly hill. Really cool. I, I was half tempted with that, I won't be on, I won't lie to you. But uh, it's very hard to store Lego. You either keep it like made up somewhere and it's nice and hope that no one runs into it. Someone breaks it. It's a tough one. So cute to look like little uh, arrows. Can you see me? Yeah, she's still a chatterbox. She's. I'm telling you, that's it's a mix of Sony and um, Ashley Birch just being a chatterbox. For the most part, it's fine. Like it actually works better for Lego because they, they do like their little quips. I, I would argue though that Lego shone the best when there was no voices. Do you remember? They would do almost this kind of pantomime silent movie thing and still get some laughs out of you. Just the pure physical comedy of it. Also, once again, coming from that kind of British side of stuff, like Monty Python style stuff, where you're kind of getting a dry, goofy humor. Not afraid to, like, smack the other Lego person when they're doing something silly. I don't think you'd even see that now, you know? Things haven't gone that bad, for sure, but um, if you look close enough, you'll always see the uh, the puppet master, the PR company, the, the CEOs, the HR, and the diversity freaking... Uh, Consultants. Like you don't need a consultant for that. Just hire the right people, you bunch of weirdos. Good lord. That's what's wrong with the world, mama. What's wrong with the world, mama? We're going half mad in the head. Here we go, this is our first little build. Yay! That was cool, it's kind of digitized. Something more satisfying than doing the builds, even in the games. Um, sometimes, uh, they, they, uh, you know, Lego Fortnite is huge, obviously. It's big. I think there's something in the tune of a billion dollar contract over the course of many, many years. Same thing is going to be happening with um, Disney as well. Disney even more so. They're going to create their own game within it, like Rocket League and all that, you know, Rocket Racing. So this will allow them to um, control their Disney licenses and maybe have or not have anything got to do with the guns but you know if they're to double down on that now and we're already kind of in a situation where you have Jack and Sally and a few others you know openly ouch, openly using guns so yeah I'm not really sure if we can get these two to smash into each other that might be a cool mini uh, thing to have to do come here come on Toro Toro ah oh, they missed they missed and he's dead that was cool. Hey, it didn't get me. That's all that matters. Nice. Him running into the wall without the horns on is almost an insta kill. Good girl. Looks like we got some stuff down here as well. Nice. Yeah, this is a fun. Okay. I don't expect too much out of this. These kind of things. What I do is, uh, especially if like single player or whatever, this would be something I'll, I'll uh, maybe pass down, you know, pass on to nieces and nephews, see if they want to. But you never know. You never know. It's getting to that point, though, like, they're, like, going into the teens, mid-teens, so... And then my other nephew, he's only, like, five, you know? So, he's not quite there yet. I don't think his parents want anything got to do with, uh, video games, either. I was, I was playing one of the games with him. I was completely, you know, completely kid-friendly. Like, no! So maybe they're kind of weird, I don't know. It's a bit of a strange one. His father, my sister's husband, he's kind of old school Ireland, as we like to call from the West, the old West. You still think like uh, electricity is a modern marvel. Um, so maybe that's the thing, I don't know. Who knows? But uh, he's mad into the farming, and I would argue that too much of that is a bad thing, too. If they have him into it now, like, what happens if he gets so sick of it now? By the time he is a teenager, he's not going to want to do any of the farming, because I've noticed that stuff happen, too. What's this supposed to be? Is this an odd something else? I don't think you'd see Lego Game of Thrones, right? They're very clever with what they do. Because you have to understand you're going to get them into that license. What is that? She climbed up on this. Who knows? But yeah, with the Lego Dimensions, like uh, that was prime time. Like It was Skylanders, Disney Infinity, and Lego Dimensions. And, and Toys for Bob. Uh, to uh, Toys for Bob. But uh, Toys to Life was crazy, you know? My younger nephew at the time, he was wild into it. He was like obsessive compulsion. I had to get every single one of them. 
Now look at them. By the end of it, they were selling them by a dollar a piece, but when they were buying them, they were 12 and 15 euro each. So it's just, whoo, couldn't believe it. I'd be, I'd be like getting on to my sister about it. It's like, you don't have to get them every one. And she's like, yeah, I know, I won't. And then I'd turn around and they'd come away with two new sets. And it was like Pokemon cards. They had to buy two or three of the same one. It was wild. I could not understand it. So then what I did was I just waited. I was like, Scarlander's Giants or something. At the time, they were already starting to suffer. So that had gone down to like a tenner for the starter pack. I was like, jeez, the game alone's worth more than that. Because so. they were good little platformers as well, you know? Didn't really care as much for the toys part. Clear out them guards. Let's burn this first. That's cool. See, they've come. They've come a long way. I wonder how much of this has actually got to do with the. Uh, see, a lot of it mightn't even be Traveler's Tales now. They kind of just go by the Lego Group or Lego Corporation or whatever. Which is kind of sad. That's when sometimes they lose their identity. Is it a balloon machine? It's like up. So if I sit down, on this will this go up? Nice. You know what would be really cool? Like a no-brainer, but it never happen. Get all the old classic cartoons in Lego. Tom and Jerry and Scooby-Doo and Flintstones and Jetsons and stuff. All in this style. Games and toys and Legos. That's like easy billion right there. Easy billion. Keep Hanna-Barbera and all them alive. Doesn't even just have to be them. It'll be a mix of everything. What is their way of uh, dodging? Oh, look at them go. Yeah, okay, they're not afraid to send a good few enemies after you. This seems to have a little bit of side scrolling, but for the most part, it is isometric. Which is where Lego kind of shines, I guess. Right where I wanted it. Nice. So, oh, he got he caught on fire. Let me see if I can get this uh, broadhead to kill as many of these as I can. Nice. When Lego started, they barely had co op. And then when you, you did, you couldn't move like. You know, more than like 10 steps away from uh, the player character. Jeez! That was like a double. But uh, yeah, they, by the end, uh, they're perfectly fine. What was that noise? Hey, uh. Try and dodge, this. dodge this! Walk straight into a fire and dies. <laughs> well done. I, I love uh, comedy, is good, but sometimes just that. Uh, you know. Fucking surprise comedy is even better. I love it. This water is so cool. Bet you Ashley Birch probably put like 25,000 lines into this game. Like, for the love of God, you know? Don't go to pieces. <laughs> for the love of God, lady! I bet you have to be in the cage. With, like, please, can't do it, Jed. Oh, what the hell is a zombie girl? It's crazy to think about it, but the whole Lego movie arc, like how quick did that come along and how quick did it go away? What happened there? I need to know. Did Chris Pratt pull out? Did, did, did just Lego Movie 2 really do that bad? Then we got Lego Batman. It just disappeared. It just disappeared so fast. Teb the Taylor. Teb the Tool Man Taylor. Um, yeah. It was good. I even enjoyed the the, the game as well. Everything is awesome. Man. It was ten years ago, people. Ten years ago. Way to make you feel old, Cyber. I love it when you have the classic yellow bricks. Yellow people. I fucking love it. Yellow brick people. You gotta be careful what you say around here, thing. Hello, you're cancelled. Get fucked. Okay, thank you. Well done. You rescued Ted the Taylor. Tab the tail man, the tool man tailor. Wonder how much that actually dip into the actual story, helping out. It was basically about basically she meets one of her ancestors a thousand years ago. There's a hologram and it's like I won't spoil too much, but it's kind of crazy. If you ever think of playing the original Horizon Zero Dawn, it is really worth it. Don't get discouraged by the bow and arrow stuff. They kind of make it a bit spongy on purpose. Don't get discouraged. Don't be discouraged. Do I realize it's hard to play video games when the creators are a bunch of assholes and they keep losing sight of it all? Oh, look at all this. The Karja. Cool. Yeah, the Karja I like. There was a, definitely a Celtic hint going on, but Karja is uh, Irish. Gaelic Irish for a uh, friend. The Karja. But I don't think if that, that was a nod or not. Who knows? Cool, the cultists, Petra Forge woman, 
nice. I can just see this girl having an issue with the uh, the amount of caramel frappuccino in her frappuccino. Stomp. What is this supposed to be? It's so cute. Note of detail, like the little scratches and shine on the Lego bricks is wild. It all has all the wear. That's cool. Banuk first. Anuk Sunamun. Nora Villager. Hey yo, Sun King Avad. That's from the second game, I believe. So maybe this it know maybe it knows what I played or something. The Shield Weaver. One of my favorites, she's really cool outfit. She's got one where she wears this uh, metal tiara. It's called the Metal Butterfly. It's one of my favorite. It's very weak though, but I still wear it the whole game because it's that beautiful. So cool. It's all this customized. You can make your own too. That's good. That's really good. Nice. Oh. Aloy. Oh, this is so cool. You can literally make your own Lego piece. What's this supposed to be? Accessory. Accessory? Accessory, accessory. No words in the vernacular. Oh. <laughs> Shield Weaver! What happened to the thing I bought? There we go. Nice. Dream Weaver! Oh. That's pretty slick though, I don't know how to rap. Spring, sprung, spring, spring, sprung, spring. Spring, sprung? No spring, sprung. Avash me, Hattis. No spring, sprung. I do what I want. Whatever, whatever. I do what I want. Okay, there we go. While she She's ready to make a YouTube channel. Aloy heard an interesting bit of She's got different color care. A gigantic creature How do you make it in the go down? Giving the villagers even more reasons to worry. Hello, narrator. She decided to investigate it better once. stop. Because, well, who wouldn't? Someone's narrating my life. I bet Teb's home safe. I mean, what would we do without his colorful outfits? Right, badge Teb. Why did I detect like such an air of sarcasm? It gave me secondhand embarrassment. You know, like colorful outfits. The freak, dude. Freak on a stick. Freak on a leash. Okay, looks like, looks like a good few levels this way, and maybe three or four areas with five or six levels. See, let's just, I want to see where they take the story, like how much it's going to follow. When we find Tirsa, she will tell me who my mother is, right? One of the best quests oh, early on in the original game was her, her trial, which was like a race, you fight, a bow and arrow, baby. platforming. Muscular. Pretty fun. But she knew where to find me. Why keep me in suspense my whole life? And now that it was finally going to happen, these strange cultists attack. All, all the new IP that um, the PS4 got was insane, you know? Bring them back, God of War, Bloodborne. And Chapter 4 was already doing its thing in a series. Horizon's completely new. We just haven't had that moment for PS5. You could argue Returnal. It's just not it. Ghost of Tsushima already came out in PS4 2019, right? Why are you talking like that? I don't know, dude. I don't know what to make of this series. Make of this uh, generation. His so fire really is just big lack, Why is it so lack luster. Beats me. It hurts. Tersa can tell you everything when we find. It's all because they the spent boys, three, four years making Concord and Fair Games. And what a disaster! This, this, this generation is slowly becoming PlayStation's Xbox One. As much as it pains me, as I sit here with a, a PS5 playing off it. That's what's happening. Just misstep after misstep. But, the, but people are too blind to care, you know? Just keep buying up that shit. Get your PS5 Pro for three extra frames. More money than sense, my father always said. More money than sense. Ba, ba, ba. That's, the that's the entire generation, what it is. Lamborghinis crashed into the wall. More money than sense. There should be a law against making someone in their 20s a millionaire. That's my thoughts. They ain't, they ain't got the mind of a 12 year old. Mm. Fucking eat, so. But here we are. What's next? What's gonna be the next controversy? Who knows? They're cooking up the storyline as we speak. It's gonna be a great season. 
says you. Little Chinese lanterns. I'm sitting on every bench. Let's see what kind of trophies we got going on for this. There's gold in them there bricks. Nice, hey, your first gold brick. Yarp. There'll be gold in them there hills. We got 24, which is very little, which is good. But it also has a platinum. I think it, someone said he got the platinum in 10 hours. It seems to be a staple with a lot of um, modern Sony stuff. Ratchet and Clank and Spider-Man, Spider-Man 2, about 10 hour platinums. If you like your platinum, some people only play because of them. There you go. That makes $70 for 10 hours. $7. 10 hours. Hell yes. Gibby gibby. I wonder will they ever go like like four player. Then they tried um to they tried to go after Minecraft for a bit there. We got like Lego builds and Lego worlds or something. There was a whole lot of Lego stuff like that. Even Lego Fortnite is heavily like it's got to be like Minecraft. Which is fine, you know, it's still fun, but it's not, Minecraft wasn't the first builder and it won't be the last. In fact, people still argue that they copied Dwarf Fortress at the time when it came out. But who cares? All that cares about is the success. Notch is now more money than knows of the deal with. Did a deal with his depression beforehand. Get him! That guy here. Do I, do I buy this mansion from Beyonce? You can pick up the bad guys as well, that's funny. I'll throw them all into the fiery grass, that's brilliant. That is brilliant. See a sucker. That's so much fun. I, I dare I say it, it controls and plays a little bit better than the actual Horizon Zero Dawn. Sorry. I, you might say that's ludicrous. And it kinda is, but once you start moving some of the other make, moving some of the other things outside the bow and arrow, it turns into a bit of a messy combat. These trip tripwires and that are, are fun. You try getting one of the dinosaurs into the tripwire. It's like trying to get blood from a stone. So please, and he's like a fraction off and then it just misses it. It's frustrating. Instead of rewarding. Unfortunately. And the other stuff there was one called Spike Thrower, it was like it was a javelin and shotgun thing. I really enjoyed that. Especially for me who's like a more brute force than tactical. But you see how I play some of these uh, battle royales. I do try to be tactical. It kind of just comes down to Our heroes how much you can afford clarity. brain we space where you're like, I just want to go boom, 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 pow. Only spend 50 and minutes setting up a trap or something for it to walk by it, you know? Treasures. The chess and I have awaited your arrival. Ooh, secret. Should I get to pick one out of the tray, do I? Let me talk to you first. Nope. Just gonna open this one. Oh, blast boots. Double jump to blast fire beneath you. Cool. I will definitely take those. Thank you. Wow. Okay, cool. Cool effect on the leader as well. Oh, well, she gonna have to say something every time I do it? No. Every couple of times. I don't know who came up with the idea. And it's not like no hate against Ashley Birch. It's literally not her fault. I'll stash this away somewhere safe. At the end of the day, you gotta listen to your. Your masters. Your boss man, you know? Jesus Christ, did they talk a lot. Yes. Well, legend. Who is that? Not sure. What? Hello there. Whoa. Hello there. The Lego from my nightmare. Did I swallow you or put it away? The unsuspecting victim of Lego in the toilet. I'm Varl, a great Nora warrior. Nice. Varl. Varl. We spoke to your mom. She's Carl. worried about you. Yeah, she always. Worries. Yeah, get home or else. But I'm gonna show her just what I can do. I'll show everyone I've got. The, we'll have such a great little uh, juxtaposition between okay. this all wholesome Lego goodness and then Stalker too, like Russian shooting monsters. Gore. Yeah, definitely a great warrior. See you later. Oh, there he goes again. Really good at that. What, falling in space? Yes, he is. The problem with when, when you see these little things that are not really annoying to kids, but annoying to adults, and uh, you just get on with them, and most people won't notice it. I don't even notice it, but then when someone mentions it, like I mentioned it, last boots eight, what does that mean? 
Uh, you can't unsee it, you know? Like Pyro used to mention a lot of the same sound effects. I'm like, oh yeah, you are right. And then it was done. It was late. It's the worst thing to happen. Yo! I haven't seen him in a while. I hope he's good. He's a bit of football. But there was a couple of injuries and he wasn't feeling the best for a bit. I hope he's okay. Hope he's okay. Alright, little secret down here. I'll take that. Nice. You don't even have to press a button. Like this kind of does itself. Sheesh. Blast. Yeah, what's this Blast Boots 8 thing? Ooh, now I can go twice as what's that mean? I think you can only use them so many times. Who knows? So pretty. It's a very confident game as well. I see that. It's good. Like it's, it's polished within an inch of its life. It was such a unusual surprise. And then to put it on Switch even. They're just testing the waters. But this might actually give them the opposite response. I don't think it's as popular as they think. As a Lego game, hell yeah. But Horizon. Horizon tends to... Its demographic is already like 13 to 30 year olds. But Lego starts way younger than that and even lego games too i i guarantee you a lot of kids ow, their first experience is uh, a lego game our first you know first gaming experience so. owie we almost died there oh here we go Oh, these blast boots are awesome. This is leveled up just like that. Yeah, this is fun. This is like really fun. And like then just like double that one when you play like with a, with a, somebody, with a family member, with a sibling, with a niece or a nephew. I'm telling you. They're really, really fun. That's why I think you still love playing those uh, Overwatch games and... Then there was moving out, which is kind of overwatched, where you have to hold sides of a couch, and it was really fun. Uh, surprisingly difficult. And then there was tools up. Same purpose again, except you were kind of building stuff to help you as you went. Not from the same people either, it was just one of those little breakout hits. Didn't get as much love. Same thing for Fall Guys. Fall Guys, because of the nature of streaming, just came along a bit too early. No one took it seriously. Then Stumble Guys came along, everyone got sponsored do that and then the sponsorship had this weird knock-on effect to play the same thing's happening right now with um what did i see was getting weirdly sponsored my boy oh yeah it's the death note game but i know they all love among us anywhere so it's fine do you know what i mean same actually same with among us but they didn't get sponsored for that it was more um just a really good premise that hadn't been done properly in gaming yet and then like i think it was soda and all them that figured that stuff out yeah, the Death Note game, which is just Among Us with Death Note. Nobody gives a crap. Like it even, like it was even a free game on PlayStation. You see anybody playing it? No. But it's uh, yeah, they got they got sponsorship, so it became kind of viral for a bit. So that happens, and whenever I see that happening, it just once again like reinvigorates the fact that a lot of these companies still don't think take streaming and streamers seriously. It doesn't help when you've got. Some jackass doing something stupid, bringing it all down for everybody. But I do think that this is modern advertising. This is the modern way of gaming, and it's just the modern way of, honestly, existing for the most part. It sounds a bit messed up when you put it like that, but it's true. I think most people are getting their gaming news. Uh, this whole political season really showed how they all, every single politician doubled down and turned us all into uh, mouthpieces when they shouldn't have. Very dangerous. So it became not about who has the best policies, who's going to destroy the world, and more about um, I vote for what my streamer votes for. And that's why they went after the young vote, even though the young can't vote. It's, it's, anyways, that's that side of it. So you see that, like, they're, they're betting on the next one. There's the tall neck! They're so pretty. Well done. Well done. How long did it take you to write that? Like, wh which is worse? Like, the writing or then, like... You know, in, in these kind of games with, with, that, with that kind of writing. Or the way it's said. I don't know at that point. 
Like the poor old voice actors and actresses are just doing the best they can, right? They don't write the scripts. Well, there it is again. Then I wonder, do they? Aloy had heard stories of the gentle, majestic machines known as Tallnecks. Tallnecks. I love the ones like a satellite dish. They're one of my favorites. You know, newer enemy, newer machine designs in the game. And Thunderjaws are great. Just don't ask me why. It's just one of those. The second game kind of feels like Jurassic Park 3 in a way. Like there's a lot to love there. There's a lot of weirdness going on too. You have this kind of Spinosaurus as well. Look at this thing. It's all about climbing up on them. Cool. Oh. Come here, you. See ya. Is he okay? Looks like we could have snuck around here as well. I don't really use the focus that much. Whereas you never stop pressing it. And just... What's this all about? Yes, bouncy, bouncy. Bouncy, bouncy. You're still very chatty, missus. You want an update to take out some of those voice lines, do you? That's about it. Mm. I don't know. Jury's out on chatty Aloy again. Now it's nearly worse than this because you, it's the the Lego quips. You know? It's it's too much, right? It's too much. It's for the person who can't be alone for the with their thoughts for half a second. It was known as the modern generation. Sleep paralysis demons, but it's during waking time. That's what it fucking feels like. You're talking to an inanimate object. Anyway, here's what it is. Damn you, Marvel and Sony. What have you done to a generation? You've got kids like and teenagers walking around saying we're in the end game now that kind of crap and then complain they're getting bullied i can't help you you have no self-awareness it's, it's one thing we need to change the curriculum hello welcome back to self-awareness 101 that's right this is where we're going to teach you to be aware of everybody around you aware of your own self and then also to be self-aware as well so sorry I, I i'm not even a professor here I don't know what I'm doing here. I, mean, I don't actually think people know what self-awareness means. Jesus! It's okay, buddy. You'll be fine. You're a Lego brick. How long till the uh, the Lego movie? But it's like live action about sentient Lego bricks or something. We can ah, uh, we can have had that, huh? Because those Will Ferrell bits, remember when he would pop into the Lego movie? I don't know. And see, this, I think this Minecraft movie, we're heading for a meltdown with this thing. And see, the real question comes down to, can Jack Black stop being a jackass for a second and not get cancelled before the movie comes out? I used to love that guy. Literally quoted him on the daily, but he is making some really dumb moves. You know, I started to see it happening during the Jablinski days when he was just... At first, I was like, oh, look, he's just trying to do a YouTube channel with his kid. I was like, no. This is complete ego. Ego! Now, that, that thing ran out, ran its course really fast. Here we go. Oh, I was hoping we could jump on it, but it was more about following us. It's usually a platforming thing to jump on its head. Head in the clouds. You reached the tall neck. Looks like there's two other things you can do in it. Interesting. You got little load screens, huh? PS5 Pro. Apparently, they said this one's PS5 Pro enhanced as well, but there's just nothing. The there's just nothing. Too dangerous. Mother's heart has been falling apart. We've had to close off whole areas because we just can not get the resources. Mother's but heart. Thanks to you, we can start rebuilding. It would help if we could find Karst, of course. He's the town's. Well, I guess you could call him our handyman, among other things. Pretty sure the cultists have him now. Speaking <gasps> of which. They have him. I don't suppose there's any the sign Matrix of has your you. son? Actually, yeah. He is out there, uh, doing his best. He's he falling so on the place. All I can Got do so far. I haven't heard the new Linkin Park song. What's it called? Two Faced or something? Or the new album coming out? We keep our I don't know. I want to believe. Tree, in case you, you know? ever need to upgrade your gear. It'll never, it'll never be tested. I gotta give it a chance. 
It's just, let's hope this new singer isn't the freak that she paints herself to be. She's like some weird Trumper Scientologist or something. Good lord. God help us. Have you tried being normal for five seconds? Free launch. Enemies affected by fire, ice, may drop healing berries. Mm, nice. Oh, cool. Look, they kept the, these tiers here. Bronze, silver, gold is part of... Um, wait, is my camera doing that thing here? It is a little bit. As uh, part of um, the original game. Cool. Why you do that? Sometimes the lighting affects it. What you do that for? At uh, first, uh, weak sauce, weak, uh, removing weak points will award XP. Easy, definitely buy on that. Weak sauce! We're gonna have all these sayings that people say. Barrels of pearl, rare surprise, start with random, rare weapon. What's well, that? What, the mission? Gadget surprise, power user. Chill out. I'll tell you what's going on with writing. Do you want to hear the real truth? You have this weird mix of new developer generation coming in. God bless them. All they want is multicolored this and rainbow that. And you know, whatever, it's fine. I don't really care that much. Doesn't matter. I don't need to know any of this kind of stuff. Then you've got the other side, which is the old guard. Which, yeah, it's full of misogynists. But even more so, it's just the general idea of these developers. You know, you're... Your wonderful John Carmack's of the world now that are now pushing 40 and 50 and have absolutely no idea what the hell this new generation of developers coming in. Just like how things are in real life. So you're getting this weird nostalgia thing. Do you remember this? No, I don't know what you're talking about. Boomer versus Zoomer going on in games like this. So you've got this really cringe named uh, skills like wig sauce, chill out. I suppose there's not one called like take the W or something. And then the rest of the game, yeah, you know what I mean? Um, it's unfortunate I have to use this as an example, but uh, just in general. It's just in general. It's not all this this game. It's just more modern writing. That's what I'm talking about. You can see it in Marvel. You see it everywhere. The catching, Kathleen Kennedys of the world trying to hold on to what they remember. George Lucas, while the new people coming in like... Yeah, but... Girl power, I'm like, but but she's she died, yeah, but she survived because girl or something like that, you know that kind of stuff. Instead of just making a cool female characters like Ripley and Xena, when we didn't give a crap, when it wasn't forced, you know, we've had so many beautiful female characters. Why do you have to force it now? And it shows because you can't subtly write anything. Remember to keep an eye that, uh, my it, it shows really badly. It's like oh. I and mean, even the ladies are getting secondhand cringe for She-Hulk. She what are we doing here, you know? How far have we fallen? It's not even just dumb internet uh, misogynist dudes, you know? Or incels. It's not just that. That is a big part of it. But my god, is it the bad rating. Wait to see my focus is activating. Hey, look, She-Hulk's twerking with Megan Thee Stallion. Love us, please. Rate the show good. Did we do good? Get the hell out of here. Is this thing working? Is this... Get out of here. You embarrass me. Go bother someone else. Instead of a show wanting you to subscribe, that's a show that made me unsubscribe from Disney Plus. That was Disney Minus, that one. Sorry, too, too easy. Too easy. I'm already meeting the bad guy already, my goodness. Healers. So the idea behind the robots is kind of cool, right? Each robot has a use, a real life use. They were designed like Roombas. Um, one of them, the, the, the deer that eat the ground, that eat the grass, they were actually fertilizers and harvesters and they would plant seeds, but they've gone out of control. They each had a, a cool idea, like the giant crabs. They were actually like a, also a filtration system. It's really well done. That's what I'm saying. Like the first game, I still will hold it very, very dear. You want to know what it is? Pretty genius writing. Even Thunder Jaws in that. The the what was it called? Was it the Thunderhawk? Which was kind of like an eagle slash pterodactyl that had power to control the weather. Hence why it's able to use lightning to attack you. But it all went rampant, rampant AI. And, uh, and then, uh, yeah, as I said, the second game gets into aliens and stuff. Fuck me, why, why, why would you do that? Does anybody read their own writing? I wonder. I wonder. Nice. So it looks like each mission is independent from each other, because I've lost my blast boots. And I'm not okay about that. I missed them already. Double jump and flames come out of them. That's sick. Oh, here we go. Speak of the devils. These guys, these cute little deers. 
The grazers, yeah. They, uh, they were, it's really cool. And if you go watch the game, um, you can see them grazers. when they harvest, they actually, they actually, like, spit it out afterwards. And then there was called, like, scavengers, which were kind of dogs slash wolves, but they were actually kind of mining things too, you know? Like, geological buddies. So every robot had a purpose. And then when you find out the backstory and how, that's how it started, sort of like a, uh, a Tesla thing, you know, like a corporation. But then they were also doing military contracts, and yeah, and, you know, sentient AI, rampant AI, angry, trying to angry at the world, angry at the war conditions, and then turning on everybody. And it was really cool, really cool idea. I just loved the the concept of it. And then it was the Zero Dawn Protocol, obviously, with the name. Says you. You know what you could do with? See, there you can kind of see them harvesting now in the ground. That's really cool. They've, they've nailed it. It's so cute. They, they've nailed it. It's absolutely the game. I just don't know if the kids that will play this go, Yes, I too played that game for 16 year old. You know what I mean? Anyway. Oh, damn. Here goes another one. Another one. This is really cute. It's very self serving, you know? I think even the modern Lego games have a little bit more going on to them, you know? Like, we, they've, they've definitely moved into, like, okay, even our classic... Oh, that's cool. I can, I can shoot these and push them into the enemies. That's cool. Um, even the kids that play their games, the Lego Batmans and Indiana Jones, have now grown up. So that's why I still argue that they work really well for, you know, people my age and people, you know, even older than me, just like Lego. They got that. That, that wonderful, um, you know selling point that they've always had which was for eight year olds and 88 year olds and it really really stuck true honestly wouldn't have minecraft without lego so but i do worry like i have seen it myself like I, lego has become such a corporation now not even about the games like just like i said they mostly sell nostalgia now at a, at a hefty markup like my older brother has gotten back into legos and he loves it god bless him but Jesus, I think in the space of maybe two, three months, he might have spent like a couple of grand. I worry a little bit, you know, obviously he's a smart dude. He spent, he spent a couple of grand on Um, But it's nice, I mean, it's just a pastime, right? And even some of them are collector's items, so that is what it is. We all have our little thing. Like For me, I do put a lot into into gaming. But, you know, I, I try and not let it get out of control. My, my idle brain always wins, so even all these, I trade in so the most i spend on a brand new game is about 20 euro because i trade it in for about 50 you know and this is the way to do it and i do that because one it's sensible two unless i really truly love the the game i'm not going to need to keep it and even if i wanted to you get it for free in ps plus down the line or it goes dirt cheap in a sale but i, mean, I understand for the actual collectors I, I just don't think these last couple of generations ps4 and ps5 and I just don't think there's any need to be collecting anything. And maybe the odd cool console or or, or a controller, but like seriously, there's, there's no value in any of the games, is there? I still have PS2 and Xbox 360 games, which are extremely rare misprints and Japanese imports, and that which is different. You know, they just don't exist anymore. But um, yeah, not to be, not to knock anybody who has a, a absolutely stonking collection, because I know there's a lot of people that do. But I can't argue when you're looking at that, like, massive build-up of dust. And I wonder what that star means. And uh, just the space all of it takes up. The fact that your backlog's getting bigger as your collection gets bigger, but there's no hope of ever catching up with it. You start to wonder, was, was it any of it worth it? And if you were to sell it, you're still always going to lose a little bit. Unless it's truly... Like, I, um, the Switch is kind of dialing down a lot of physical stuff, so some of them have become... Or the limited run indie games, they become collectors. But I know it's not always about that. People just like owning stuff too, and I, I get that. It's just it's just not part of my brain to do that. As a kid, I, I felt that a good bit. And then as I kind of moved out on my own, I'm like, well, dude, you can either collect all this plastic crap, or you can afford rent and food for the rest of the year. And it was kind of a no-brainer, you know. And that was before madness happened, you know. But it was about the time of um, the 0708, um, oh, uh, 
procession and stuff, you know, so I was definitely like, look. And I'm not, I was never really a person to bother with roommates, it's just, it was never my thing. I like my independence and space. I never really fuck around with roommates too much. There's a few people from here and there, but it was more like, hey, can I just live on your couch for a bit? Hey, can I just use your this room, the spare room, for a couple of months? That kind of stuff. Yeah, I never really bought it too much. It's just never worth the hassle. I never, I never needed it. You know, I was saying like I'm just never, I never needed the extra income that way. Man, we'll see how things go. Like if the signs are going the way they are, and how bad things are getting, and there should be a small housing crash again. I am definitely going to absolutely fucking profit off that, and not in a mean way. Just buying, uh, buying another apartment cheap or something. But what I want to do is do that and create um, passive income from it, and then just fucking travel around the world and just have and not rip them off because um, I would never do. I'd hate that. I, when I see what landlords are doing now because they're in the old rent. And then they're like, well, you were paying 600 a month, but we're going to pretend to evict you and then charge the next person three grand a month because that's the way the world is going. That's messed up. It's far be it for people like it's their prerogative, you know, but I don't know how the fuck you sleep at night doing that kind of stuff. People don't care, man. Conscious can be bought and sold these days. Morality is just a, uh, a fucking word, you know. What in the hell is going on? What's wrong with the world, mama? We used to look after each other. We used to help. What is going on? Why is um, the word of the day, uh, I'ma get mine and you get nothing kind of thing? That's, that's what seems to be. It sucks. So yeah, I'll keep watching my wholesome movies and playing wholesome games because it makes me happy. We can pass on some of the good... What's this hot dog cake? Let the hot dog cause chaos for explosions with hot dog. Oh my god. That's going to be our special power. Hot dog. Thank you, sir. Can I talk to you? Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. see what it does in the next one. It's going to be a little mini boss or something. You can see these missions are kind of samey though. I don't know what they're up to. Have to see. It's kind of mission and you have that little room. Definitely Diablo-esque. But I would I would argue not to be mean or not to take sides or anything but I think Minecraft Dungeons had it going on, you know. Like, you'd be sleeping on that game. I think it was fun. Another Diablo light, but it was fun. Alright, we gotta sit on all the benches. I love the little skip and jump. Look at the little wiggly legs. Oh, I love the little Lego things. It's those little things that send me back. Some people didn't like them. It's that noise. Got some grazers. Baby! I don't really want to know how your garden grows. Yeah, it would be nice to find more stuff. I think I was about to die there. Get up on that thing. Got to do much better. Nice, yeah. Mm. Sparkle. Yep, <laughs> Is everyone in your cult a comedian? Cursed. About time. Now to clear the way out. And off we go. Let's go. Let's try the hot dog stand. Boom! Hot dog. Go. What's gonna happen? She's literally ow. She's literally throwing hot dogs at people. That's so funny. Get him. I'll, I'll take care of this guy. You get the hot dogs. Oh my god, she's doing great. Go, little hot dog stand. Ow. Walked into the spikes. And you wondered why you feckin' died. You're so dumb. <laughs> You're probably walking. Oh, he can break the spikes? Now that's clever. My goodness gracious. Shakes a light. That's pretty clever right there. Oh my goodness. Go, hot dog lady. I can't put... Where can I put hot dog lady? Dear hot dog lady. Do we all thing? Make some explosive die or, or hot dogs. Get her! Hot dog, get your hot dogs. Goes down smooth, leaves smooth. Smooth brains! It's like the world has become a dad pawn. Shadang dang! That was awesome! Here come the arch stepper. Oh no, she's starting to repeat the little things already. She's starting to repeat the quips already. 
One of them is don't fall to pieces and then followed by a little laugh. Oh god save me. Somebody save me from Sony's writing, baby. Remember Sony? Remember remember Edgelord Sony? Infamous and resistance and all the cool weird Japanese Remember that? I remember that. Pepperidge Farm remembers. And weeps. Weeps. But that's not what Sony we have now. We, now we have Western Sony. With all the lovely trappings Ooh, of cringe. High. High. Little high, little ho. Little high, hey, little ho. Oh, yeah, here's what it is. I can be cringe myself. I can get away with dad jokes. I'm telling you. Alright, come on, my little multicolored friend. Let's go. Look at that hair. There you go. I knew someone would come. I Blah. let myself get captured so I could Cash on these and rust. Heard it's not the same guy with gray hair. Don't don't you dare. Ooh, what were they saying? Lots of talk about spreading sunshine, which sounded friendly enough. Turns out no. they want to turn the whole world into a sunny yes. desert. But you That's the that. sun cult. Yeah, I get the feeling they really like the sun. You can always tell the difference. Like, Nintendo, Mario, and, and Luigi have this gorgeous insert. I love doing reverse things. Like, we don't get manuals anymore, but at least we get that. But the Dragon Quest one, Square Enix just bottom of the barrel again. What am I gonna do? Where is the... Can't maybe... maybe it's too hot. It looks like it's all enough. framey. Yeah, I'll never give up on you. Nice to get the first like five levels of this done, but it's okay. Cult following bye bye. Ah, oh, it's that's six. No, that's okay. No, we'll do we'll do one more level. When it all falls down, gotta pick it up again. You nice. rescued me just in time, Aloy. I've uncovered a new conspiracy. Yay! Right I don't want this man. I wait till the wholesome kitty games to start like ranting about world views and giving out about the current state of things. I'm like, this is not the place, man. Spy games, Karst. You have a real job, remember? You take care of the village, and now that Aloy has started clearing the wilds, we can restore this place to its former glory. The wilds. Our greatest mission yet. Uh -uh. The great mother's heart. Uh -uh. uh -uh. Okay. When do we start? Right now. Why do you laugh like you a billy ghost? To restore <laughs> I did not. I, did. You can <laughs> I actually have a kind of shite laugh, I think. <laughs> when I do, I... Enough? Quite loud with my laugh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Our first bill. Check it out. Let us do that, you know? That's something that always got me by the ghoulish. When it was like, what was it called, Lego Worlds? Let me build! Huh? If you let me, I will build. But they would do this thing, even, um, what you call it, Lego Fortnite. Like, we were kind of complaining because it was in parts, and I'm like, dude, at least we're getting to build, you know? Because, oh my, now it's kind of just plops it down. So you would buy these big house sets for Lego, what was it called, Lego Worlds? Yeah, I think it was called Lego Worlds. And the freaking thing would just plop the whole house down. It was like, oh, and you'd buy it with real money, too. And it just kind of felt a little bit lackluster. Let's put the donut roof on. I want the donut house. Does that look like uh, anyone else thinks that that looks like uh, a certain uh, particular donut? Anybody? Yeah. You couldn't tell. I think the Simpsons are coming. That was another cool thing about Lego. It wasn't even a Marvel thing. They would put a nod to all of their old, uh, next games, you know? So I'm nearly sure, like, correct me if I'm wrong, but it was either Lego Batman 2 or Lego Batman 3, where you had this funny joke, classic joke, like Adam West joke, where you've got Batman and Robin climbing up the mountain, or climbing up the building, and then it turns around that he's just crouch walking on, on his side. But a t uh, not a T Rex, a Velociraptor comes and bites him in the arse. And that was the nod that they were making Lego Jurassic Park next. So, uh, yeah, it was the little things of like that. I did, I would get excited about them. I didn't, I didn't care. Really fun. And Lego Lord of the Rings is actually low key, really, really good. I'm not even just blowing smoke, I swear. Go play, it's really, really fun. Don't go near the Lego Hobbit though. Whoo, that was rough. That was a rough time, and they promised all these sorts of movies to be added later, and... <laughs> the best... Uh, Lego Batman 2 was great as well. Lego Batman 3 was fine. It went into space. It became too piecemeal. Lego Batman 2 just get you, let you out there in Gotham, Gotham City. So much fun. Still kind of old-school Lego as well, like how they used to do um, 
the Indiana Jones game as well, and Lego Star Wars. We're all kind of like a uh, nice little open area and then missions. And as soon as we got post the Marvel games, which was very good, like Lego superheroes, Marvel superheroes, it was very like open world flying and stuff. It was really, really, it was almost overwhelming. Um, but yeah. Not the same. Look at this. These are probably based on real uh, sets as well. Look, police headquarters. I swear they, these. I remember some of these. A police headquarters looks so familiar. Spaceship. Donut. And you got shuttle launch. Shuttle launch. You know when you go in there and it's a little piddle and just a little plop. It's a shuttle. It's just a shuttle. Oh, cool. You got pagodas. A dragoon. Dragon, Dragon, Bell Tower, Destinies. Oh, this is Ninjago. Oh, this is Lego City. That's why I recognize it. Cool. Had to get that, you know, a little bit of the old eh, in there, didn't you, huh? Little boss, self promotion. If Lego can do it, you can too. They put the self promotion. Cheeky burgers. Ninjago, I heard there was something happening with that coming back or something. I wasn't a big Ninjago fan. I, I'll tell you, I'm sorry. But you know what I did love? Bionicle. Damn, I love that stuff. Because I was like mad into anything that got to do with like Transformers and Gundam and all that. So you're talking about creepy, demonic, Lego, Gundam machine things? Yes, please. What's this one? Just called Amusement. Is that part of Lego? I got into the Lego Friends stuff as well. That's just the way things go, you know? And it's really cool, you know? They had like a little cartoon. It was mainly aimed at young girls, you know? That was the idea. So that was, it was just, you know, it was nice to see that. It wasn't... It's more about like um, it was like a one was like a vet girl. It reminded me of, of all those stuff. Now me, I wasn't for me myself, you know. Jeez, calm down. Um, Nora, okay. What about yards? Different yards. Feast. Oh, you can have a little like oh chicken coop for the chickens. Would it make chickens come over? Market stall and a feast. Let's do chicken. Oh, it's already chicken coop. That's why there's eggs everywhere. So I'm gonna clean this up. Whoop that ass. I will whoop that ass. Oh, he's coming over. He's eating the chicken. What's he doing? He's drinking out of the egg. Oh, my God. Oh, they're all coming over to have a feast. Oh, I love the attention to detail. Cool. We can like, change it around and stuff. Latest. Rising Zero Dawn. Ah. Oh. Different colors. Depending on the... Oh, there's a nice bit of love put into this. I still don't know where the whole... That's cute. I don't know. Options. Where's my, like, leveling system and all that? Where'd that go? Let's see what's going on with the Taylors. Taylor's pretty fast. Like, you could give him another name, but she'd probably come after me. You know, he's a Taylor. He's fast. Must be Taylor fast. Mm, what else we got? Holy moly! You just buy the entire thing, do you? Osirons! Cool, they're cool. They're almost like the, the Gorons of uh, this world. Nora Hunter. That's kind of cute. I wonder will they, if they put the metal butterfly in the game, I'm going to have a conniption. I'm going to have a cannoli. I'm going to have a, a cannoli. Mm -hmm. So cute. Go look it up. It's like beautiful. Beautiful. Has this kind of dark purple metal thing going on. It was the first time I was like, hey, she's like a little mini superhero. Okay, one more level. Oh, yes, I'm enjoying this. This will be, be just nice, you know. Out there in the wild somewhere. What's this? Cush mash. Environment. Okay, that's the entire floor. Oh, excuse me. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, I, did, I wondered it was all the Lego Fortnite stuff. Like, they, they have been very quiet. Like, they put out Skywalker Saga, and that alone took three years. It was that big. Like I said, nine movies. Like, it was nine, nine games and open worlds between it. And it showed. It showed. Like, it was totally worth it. Just don't think it had the same uh, returns that they were expecting. And it, we just didn't get out now after that for a long time. I'm still waiting for like Lego Simpsons, Lego Ghostbusters, even 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 the crappy Ghostbusters. Put them in there. I don't care. Right now we're up to like what five movies? If you count the female one, that's enough. What? She said, "Don't talk with your mouth full." So she just talked with her mouth close. This me, mom, mama. Enthusiastic chewing. No, oh is. man, people fake the voice acting and chewing. It's almost bad as people fake being drunk. I'm choosy after chewing? No, enthusiastic, not enthusiastic. See, free joke, Lego. Come on, you've lost the plot, lads. 
and I'm choose the Astor guy because you're chewing. My job was to prepare you, and you well, disgust me. Yeah, 2022, which is not that long ago. Actually, it's not that long. Okay, I'll cut them some slack. Maybe they're working on something else. I'll cut them some slack. I'm sorry. I feel bad. I thought I thought it was 2019. We we know that from 2019 to like 2023, 2024, that is just a vacuum that is lost to time. We will never get it back. We'll never understand what happened. And we know it was COVID. But I'm talking about the time. The time. It wasn't just about being trapped inside. I will never understand. Anyone who brings up an event that happened during that time, I don't know. I think we've collectively, subconsciously, just trauma, just buried it down, deep down to the darkest soul holes. You know, like the time that Santa Claus got a bit too friendly when he was asking. The time the, the birthday clown was smoking in the background, you know. But damn it, he took off his mask at the party. No, Spider-Man, no. <laughs> Uh, look, look, look at look at Traveler's Tales. Watch, they had a, they were big into Disney. So they made like Mickey Mania, the Timeless Adventures of Mickey Mouse, the first Toy Story. They helped with Sonic 3D Blast. They were everywhere. They did a Bugs Life. I remember the PS One a Bugs Life game. Are you kidding me? That thing was legit. Oh my god, I love that thing. Those grasshoppers scared the crap out of me. Oh my lord. No, 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 no. Those games, most of them, like we know about the, the old NES and SNES Disney games were ridiculously hard. Some of those PS1 ones were as well, just because they were a bit awkward to be play as, you know. There was, there was bits where you had to like, what was it, like Flicker? <coughs> what was her name? Flick? Flicker? I don't know. <clears throat> you had to like glide and sneak around and stuff and open my arse. <clears throat> It was like flick, flicker, G gingham flicker. What was it? <laughs> what was it? I don't remember what the fuck it was. Anyway, but yeah, these guys. Oh man, they have such a history. Weakest link to video game. Like, come on, come on. They helped with Crash Bandicoot, the Rack of Vortex, Watch Cortex, Find the Nemo, Crash Twin Sandy, and Lego Star was a video game which came along 2005. So yeah, God bless them. They're coming up on nearly. 20 years of Lego games. They better do something nice for us, <clears throat> or else. Chronicles of Narnia, video game. See, I'm telling you, some bad, good games back then. Bionicle Heroes, let's go, let's go. I couldn't keep up with the Lego Star Wars. See, they realized they had a keeper. They're like, oh, mama, let's milk this cow, you know? It was the golden cow that came home, and it wasn't milk that I was, oh dear. I've made a horrible analogy, and I apologize immediately. Oh, he was milking the wrong cow, I'll tell you that much. Jeez, this milk tastes funny. Um, but, yeah, so they made, like, three different Lego Star Wars games. I, I'm telling you not. I couldn't believe it. Even I was like, who dare? Who dare? But, yeah, they had, like, the original trilogy. Then, number two, it was a Star Wars 2. Then it was, like... The OG trilogy and new trilogy. And it was like new trilogy on the block. I couldn't keep up with it. Oh, that's cute. When they fire the beams, look, it's like little Lego. That is so cute. Don't do that. Nice, right, that's cute. These are watchers. They're, you're meant to be all sneaky beaky. But we know me and sneaky, man. It's like pickle juice and ice cream. We don't go together. Stop putting it together. Don't go together. Everyone's worried about pineapple on the pizza. I'm like, who's putting pickle juice in my ice cream? That's disgusting. Please, no more. No more. No more rubber tart. We have a joke over here about the man who ate too much rubber tart. And he could not use the toilet for several days. So when he talked to him again, he just went, No more. No more rubber tart. There's like a staple here in Ireland of mothers and grannies handing out apple tarts and, and rubber tarts. And they'll just give it to family, friends, passerbys people who's probably allergic but they'll get a free apple tart it's just apple pie but it's made with just crust and you got apple crumble which is like breading you know how this you know how this these are all yummy we get a lot of this one kind of fruit we can grow well here is strawberries and apples but not so much the citrus because they've been eating that sun and we ain't seen the sun since 1996 1996 i miss it i miss that sun now when we see it, it's people get confused and scared. Oh, 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 what is that? So like they start stripping off wild, you know, wild sun pagan rituals or something. Start stripping off, and it could be like 
10, 11 degrees outside, but the sun's out, so the buns are out every time. Mm hmm. And we still don't tan. We just go lobster, pale, lobster, pale. There will be no tan. No. It's against their religion. I'm against this. Yeah, so that's just like a small taste. And then, yeah, once once Lego hit, a lot of mercy. They helped with the Transformers game, the OG one. I love that. It was really awkward to play, but I loved it. You could just run around a massive field fighting off all the uh, Decepticons with... And you just turn into a truck and just start driving around. It was like... like we love our fall of Cybertron. I know I do. But it was more mission-based, story-based. But... Pew, pew, pew! He almost hit me with the pew pews. They've been making the pew pew jokes since the Lego Star Wars, you know? 20 year old joke. Keeps getting funnier. Keeps getting funnier every time I hear it. Name that movie. Ow. That one might be too much. Too much of not enough. Not enough. Ow. How dare you. He seemed awful happy with himself hitting me there, didn't he? Cute little fucker. How are we going to fight the Thunder Joe? I'm excited. Out of the big, tough ones, Thunder Jaws in the first game, very tough. They're basically a machine T-Rex. Also the Corruptors, which were like scorpion things. Scary as hell. They would corrupt the other uh, machines. I don't know if they'll actually put this into this game. That was one of our first fights. But no, we're still kind of early days. She's still like building up the place. I'd say they won't put all of it because some of it is a bit dark, honestly. Especially the Devastators. What do you think they did? You know, these are the giant tendril uh, monsters the size of one that died on that mountain there. Was that a mission? No, oh, okay. Oh, it's this thing here. Then when he puts us into this place, it reminds me of like, like a ooh, bread shot bow. Reminds me of uh, the freebies you'd get. Like a, a loot goblin room or something, you know? Golden axe when you fall, you're you falling asleep in the camp, right? And the loot goblin steals your stuff and you're all running around the camp. Yeah. They're bringing back Golden Axe. I hope they do. Last one we got was like Beast Rider. It was a bit rough. They, were, they tried to make Golden Axe serious. Sega are basically bringing everything back. Crazy Taxi can't wait. Maybe maybe it'll finally make Simpsons Hit and Run wake up. There is like an unofficial uh, remake of Simpsons Hit and Run, but you can't play it outside of dubious, nefarious ways. Not even pirating. You literally have to get a download and code off... Uh, the original guy, he's not supposed to distribute it because Activision and uh, Fox have not given him the rights. So, yeah, and there's people streaming it. So, good luck with that. I, w I would love. I would. Would I take the chance? Maybe. Maybe I would like to the money. Yeah, I would. I would, I would definitely. Maybe. I don't really want to know if it's DMCA. I just want to play, baby, you kind of smell like gravy. Oh, did I knock that over? It was me. This spread shot bow, as you can imagine, is freaking awesome. Look at this. It never misses. For the man who's cockeyed. That's me. That's me. It has everything. It slices. It de nice shot me, she just said. Somebody call me a lawyer because I'm about to start acting up. And I need some action. Get some earmuffs. I'm gonna mute this mother trucker. Ow. Ow, you really hurt. I'm hurting. There is, there's no health here. Oh, look at this. It's like an old amphitheater. They're all chilling in the background. What will um, Gladiator 2 be good? What do you think? I hope so. I hope so. I want it to be good. Not really like big fan of Ma Paul Maskell. Not too many Irish actors or actresses that I'm like all gung ho about. Like Saoirse Ronan's doing her own thing. She's fine. Barry Keown is alright, but it's like... That Joker stuff could really be cringy. Oh, there we go. I'm who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Brendan Gleeson is doing his thing. Liam Neeson doing his thing. Not related, but it's down the same. They're alright. I always see, like, Kieran Hines popping up. He's like, uh... Plays like, plays like a Russian guy one time. He's Irish. Like, a, don't ask me where that came from. Thank you. I'm okay. Say, Loy. Guess I'm not such a great warrior after all. I know his voice. What's that for? Is, maybe it is uh, Viral's actual voice actor. Sneaking up on these two cultists, ready to whack them with my spear, and my foot got caught on a vine. 
A foot got fought in the pine. Oh, please don't I miss Vine. Oh, I wouldn't dream of it. And at least you tried. Listen, Aloy, you have to be careful. That cult leader, he is, is it? He's who I think it is. And he's really strange. He hates trees. I mean, what kind of monster hates trees? Yeah, I think all that sun might have fried his brain. I'm pretty sure he has Tirsa somewhere around yeah. here. <gasps> really? Then let's go get her! Oh, finally! Yeah, boy. Thank you. I do not do well in small spaces. Whew! Whew. It's small spaces? Who fired it? How do you <laughs> fart inside of a cage and it smells that bad? It, it doesn't have any walls. Yeah, boy. Alright, that's that done. Four out of six isn't bad. Baby, we can talk all night. There. There she is. Huh? Tirsa, you're looking... Um, well... Oh, dear. That's not her. Ooh, well, it looks like that's how they're gonna get rid of Ross in this one. No. My brilliant plan would work. Ha! Keyless one, redhead zero. No. I am Keyless. Keyless. And once I deal with you, I will fill the world with sunshine. <laughs> Deserts everywhere. It's supposed to be a, a Wu Tang Clan game RPG. I don't know when. Oh, look at this! Very chat. This is a nod to the second game. What the hell? Very shadow. This is the weird alien thing I was talking about. <laughs> Damn, get him! Oh, this is, this is bad. Are they gonna do it? Oh my god, Aloy! Uh, guys? Start blowing! Have we got some salt, some baking soda? Freedom! Oh, way to go. Yeah, it sounds like our airline. It'll help our people. Ross, no. Oh no. What are you doing? Where the shadow work? I've seen. What? No. What's he doing? Bruh. No, Ross! No, 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 no! Ah! Oh, damn. Well, if Lego have to kill a character, then might as well do it that way. Rust. He's okay. No. That, oh, the cape. I, lo I love their cape. That's how we got the narrator job, people. See? Go to heaven, gone. get a job. He's. He's always been there for me. I'm so sorry, Aloy. It's never easy to lose someone, but. <laughs> I have the strange feeling he's not really gone, you know? You mean like, he's still watching over us? Yeah, I feel it too. I bet if you try real hard, you might even be able to hear his voice. Yeah. Hello. And I think he'd want us to go on. Mm -hmm. The people of Mother's Heart still need us. Aloy returned home. Says you. Realizing that Rost would live on in her head. <clears throat> his stories, his advice. Oh. His impeccable sense of humor. He's okay, charming good okay, looks. I Wait, what? It. You're still with me. I will always be with you. Thanks. Nice. I, d I don't think he's with you. I have got a bad feeling that he might actually... Uh, he might actually have hit your head too hard, Aloy. You're hearing voices. This is onset schizophrenia. Aloy, Welcome I to the jungle. We're all mad down here. How's it going on the Lego? It's good. Is it cool? It's, it's fun. You know, it's modern Lego, so it's a bit... Marvelly, you know. What are those? I could write better jokes on the toilet, but it's 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 charming. It's good charming fun. Good for everyone of all ages. You ever think of uh, playing the original game this is based on now, Horizon Zero Dawn? It's very tasty. It's like third person bow and arrow, like two meter. Very good. Welcome back, Aloy. It is chatty com bombardy though, like ready. modern Sony stuff. Back one of the most important parts of it's fun, it's lovely. Oh, wow. Short and really? sweet. The community board. I like it. Uh, oh Jesus. Oh, je oh my god, everything. I, I dropped everything at the same time. Jeez. 
one yeah, day like out on PS4. That's okay. My furniture this weekend, Perfe but, perfectly you know, fine on there. Weirder. You don't need anything matter. else with the PS6. Together, improves the, the PS666. All our lives. Oh. Then, what are we waiting for? What you waiting for? You get, to, you get a little town to build up. It's definitely kind of air, um, you know, made more for co-op. Dress up whatever you want. Now we got community jobs. 